All right, legends, welcome back. Uh, in this video, we're going to keep building the cruiser. Trying to make it interesting, but some of this stuff, you know, just has to be done. We'll start on the turtle deck, see where we get to from there. Enjoy the video. So, stage one. Quick bracket. This will go in here, hopefully. And hold F1 vertical and we'll start gluing some stringers on. So just positioning this first longer on, I'm going to trim it right off here I've decided. I want to save the amount of sanding so I want to get it accurate but I don't want to miss before it's glued on. Now something's also telling me I think I'll trim, trim these down to the back rather than have it sit proud. Um, it just means I lose my perfect line to there and then it slightly tapers, but I think that'll be okay. Um, something's telling me to do it, so I think I'll do it. I'll just, above, the tape will stay, so I'll just take off above, so basically nothing, down to about uh, three, quarter to three eighths of an inch there, uh, eight mil, 10 mil. So, also then when I get, when these are all bunched up, seven longerons, this is only quarter inch, I'll probably fill this with balsa wood or something to give me a good half inch to an inch uh, landing, if you like, for the fabric to, um, to rest on. But I reckon I can just fill that with balsa because it sands so nice. Um, that's what I'm thinking. Do I glue it and then Plane it down. I think I'll plane it down, prepare the edges, and then glue it in. We'll just go slow. All right, first one's on. Got it all nicely squared, I hope. Yep, squared at the front. Nice little finger fillet. I just use white glue. Um, see it's running down a bit, needs another touch up with my finger. Probably get three on today, three or four. See how we go. I did use the, um, I used the plane, this guy. All that did was make a bit of a mess and chew out the wood a bit, but we're not living with the Amish anymore. G'day to my mates at Lancaster in Pennsylvania. Uh, Scott, bacon and eggs, large fat white. But, um, with the Aussie accent, the bandsaw and the sander. Clean those up nicely. So then I've got the nice, sorry about the lighting, and just rolls down to the back there nicely. Humpity bump. Well, the hump's meant to be at the front, but um, just tapers down towards the back. Going well. All right, I've just given it a quick go over with the heat gun, um, just to skin the glue, I guess, stop it running. Uh, I've got a little finger fillet in each corner. So just a quick go over with the heat gun, skins, skins the glue and seems to be holding it nicely. I'm fully aware there's no strength in glue. I think the boys over in Perth GT, if you're watching, I think he taught me that. There's no strength in glue, um, just the bond itself. So the more glue you put on doesn't make it any stronger. All right, that'll do for that session on the turtle deck. Got straps and clamps, or tape, and straps going everywhere. I just haven't done the bottom ones yet. I think what I'll do is I'll actually notch, just here, I'll notch the longer on to fit in there, like half and half. Um, see how that goes. And once all that's dry, which will be tomorrow, We'll pull everything off and have a look at it. This should be nice, nice and straight. Looking good. Happy with that, got glue everywhere. Wiped it all up. A Couple of spots had some gaps, so I just chucked a paddle pop stick in there. Icy pole stick. Um, we'll sand that off later. So as I munch on my lunch, let this dry. 
And we'll come back to that tomorrow. Happy with that. <clears throat> now, what else is happening? Still waiting on my parts. There's my aileron plans. I think after a brew, I'll cut out some pulleys. Um, I found some 50 thou in the bin, believe it or not. It's funny what you find at an airport when you go rummaging through. I made up some root ribs. I might put a gusset on these um, just to keep them in shape. I'll put them in my rib, um, rib machine, my rib template. And I've polished all these up ready for installation. So just kidding parts, the work I do now, it'll come to fruition later. Um, then I could probably make some ribs too, I guess. Don't want to bore you guys too much, we're just making ribs, so probably won't show too much of that. But it's just uh, shape, cut, grind, rivet, repeat. Right, back to my jig. I'm just going to make up four um, aileron root ribs, these will be. So these will go up in there, you know, and set my gap. Um, so getting ahead of myself a little bit, but you know, I'll do it now. When the time comes, I'll be able to throw them in once my hinge bolts arrive. So I'll just, I'm just going to make a gusset plate. The way I do that, I just draw something out. I just went 100 mil because it's sort of easy. Um, and then I'll cut a sort of triangle shape, four or six rivets, make um, two, four of those, make two left, two right, and put them aside. So a little template. I've got the advantage here, I can sort of just slide that along until it fits, so I shouldn't have to trim it. I'll make four of these up, I might even uh, pre-drill these, make a stack of four, um, and then rivet those in there somewhere to hold my root rib together. One aileron root rib ready to go. I don't know if I've shown this before, but I what takes me time, I guess. You see that was clecoed on. You could just drill a hole and rivet it like you'd build a chook shed out the back, I guess. But if you pull it apart, you end up with those little tiny dags on the holes. And then what happens if you don't clean those off, you rivet it, the dag falls out, and the rivets become loose. So that's where we're at with that. All right, so I've got some extra metal. We'll move on now to make some more pulleys. Rough cut those on the bandsaw. We're going to end up with a pair of those like that with a nice radius again. I'm also, before I go home, I'm going to use my, um, I keep calling it celastic, but it's polyurethane, I think, um, Sikaflex. I'm going to glue aluminum to or aluminium to aluminium and wood to aluminium and just leave it overnight see how strong the uh, joint is these um clico clamps are really good for this job hold it together or as we call them in australia clico clamps um pilot hole there put a clico in that and then i'll sand them both to shape to make a pair two pairs make an apple what I'm trying to do is get to that stage there, made up those ribs, 
my little kit of parts coming together nicely. New bit of 80 grit on the sander. Make short work of those. Now I will uh, got a date with a buffer and then we'll fold them up. All right, I don't like rushing things at the end of the day, but um, got those ones done. I actually, yeah, because I rushed, folded them the wrong way, so they didn't pair up quite nicely, or quite as, well, that one's that one's okay. This one ended up a bit, because I bent one the wrong way. Um, also, the holes ended up a lot closer to the radius. Anyway, it'll be okay. Um, sort of just make it sit flat just means it's a little bit out at each end but that's because of the time of the day and I was rushing there you go four pulleys top wing bottom wing inboard aileron for the top and the bottom the horns coming tomorrow we'll pull apart the um the clamps on the turtle deck Alright, last stringer has gone on, um, just tapered that, as you can see there, the stringer gets tapered inwards, from, call it inch and a half down to three eighths of an inch or something like that. Um, when I get to the final fitting stage or prior to covering, I'll give it all a good sand down. I'll probably fill, fill in between here just to give myself a good landing for the covering. Uh, this side needs a bit of work, but I'll let that dry. Then tomorrow, once these joints are dry especially, or well it's this one here that gets kicked out, um, then I'll use natural elasticity and get that into there. Clean up the front, give it a sand, and give it a coat of varnish. Two coats probably, give it a polish. I'm not sure whether I varnish the top edge. I'll do some research on that, on bare wood to the fabric. Um, probably do and I might still might do some finger fillets up through here as well Right mixing up a batch of 30 minute. I'm just using Hobby King 30 minute epoxy With my little micro balloons just to fill the gaps. I actually started I just used Gorilla Gorilla white glue and now I'm just putting a finger fillet I'll show you Nice little finger fillet on every joint. Um, just, I don't know, seals it up, makes it look good, hides any imperfections. Sweet. All right, how cool is this? She's taking shape, looking really nice. Finished all the gluing, a little bit, I'm, my OCD kicks in, see all the glue joints, I clean them all up, do a finger fillet. Um, fills the gap, makes it look nice. They're all done, they're all secure. Let that cure. They're all done, they're all secure. Let that cure. Write that down. So that's looking pretty good. And we're nice and straight that way. You can see the sexy curves. She's got the love handles happening out the side there. I just, um, the one on this side and the other side probably. My plan is to lay a, I lay a bit of aluminium on the side to simulate the covering and then I'll just sand um, this longer on just so the covering comes up and around don't want the covering to pop out look a bit around too many too big a love handle just enough to grab hold of so what's next not sure I might start on some wing ribs on the bottom they've got to be done sort of haunting me a bit so I'll start making up some brackets. So procrastinating is not going to get it done. Uh, rib back in the jig. I've got a, I've got some straight stock here, so I've got to go back to day one and bend and cope some more ribs. That's enough for one wing, like one bottom wing. Uh, I've got to fold up all these brackets. There's 20 there and 20 there. Got to cut them out first, polish them, buff them. Fold them, rivet them to the ribs. Let's do it. All right, come in the next day with the swallows flying around. Ooh, a bit of aerial shot going on. 
All right, turtle deck. It's probably uh, dragging on a bit, guys. Um, all glued down the back. That strap's just a bit of a safety strap. I'm going away for the weekend. I've got the front glued on. I actually changed the slot. So the slot was there. I've just filled that. I'll sand that off. This will get a fascia sheet. Probably a nice plaque and the seat belt will come through in the cockpit. Uh, once I sand all these flush, the reason I moved that up, that one there sort of jackknifed and did funny things. So I just cut a slot where it wants to sit. There is a funny angle now, just where it comes around. Nothing that a um, orbital sander or, you know, I can glue another strip if it's too far in. Whatever I need to do, and then we'll sheet this next week, potentially. She's looking good. All right, guys, might leave that one there. I'm just um, starting on the ribs again. Make some, what is it, 20? 20 ribs I've got to make, so I won't film all that. Uh, I've got the turtle deck done this week, or as good as done. So probably a good time to leave that one there. Hope you enjoyed the video. Next week, well, I'm going away for the weekend. Uh, next week, we'll get back into it. Um, probably work on the bottom wings. Thanks for watching. <laughs>